Hello friends, Erroneous here. Today I'm going to be showcasing a drill rig that I built. I'm going to be going step by step with the parts that I put together to make it work. The first thing that I put together was this drill system that you see here. It's essentially two automatically returning slime machine engines with a simple head on them that consists of two slime or honey blocks and then three sets of sticky pistons with observers to push the drill head. The drill heads themselves are made of vertical strips of honey and slime alternating so they don't stick to each other. I haven't tested it beyond two, but I know that with two of them it is currently completely tileable. Due to a conflict in the shape of the engines and the shape of the heads, I was unable to get the heads to stop on their own. So I had to build a device that would disassemble the heads and put them back together as soon as the drill came back into its dock. You can see it disassembling the head, pushing the honey and slime strips forward, and reassembling the head here. Let's take a look at the trigger for that mechanism next. As you can see in this clip, the signal from the drill returning is received and split into two pieces. The first of which goes to the disassembly mechanism, which pulls the engine apart and then reassembles it later. The second piece of the pulse goes to the top and pushes the slime and honey segments forward into the correct position between the time that the head pusher is disassembled and reassembled. Now let's get into some more of the automation. The first bit of automation that I did takes all of the blocks that stuck to the drill head off and puts them in a nice easy to manage sheet. So why don't I go ahead and turn the drill on and I'll show you. When the drill returns to its dock, a series of things will happen. The first thing is, as with before, the drill head will be repaired because it never docks correctly. The second thing that will happen is two mechanisms will drop down from above and pull the left and right edges of the drill's load to be flush with the front of the drill's load. Next, a machine will come in from the side that will pull the top and bottom to be flush with the front of the drill's load and will also pull the entirety of the drill's load one block away from the drill head so it's easy to manage. As you may or may not have been able to tell, the first set of two machines docking triggered the second machine. As you may not have been able to tell, when the second machine docks it pulls a single observer out and then replaces it when the machine departs again. This is done because, as with the drill, it does not dock properly and must be repaired every time it docks. But its purpose is served. As you can see, the blocks from the drill head are now all in one easy to manage sheet. Moving back to the last mechanism, we can see that an input here will allow it to return to its previous docking station. With it returned to its station, the vertical flying mechanisms are sent back to their top docks. At this point, this version of the machine is ready to launch again. My girlfriend did just get me a microphone recently, so please bear with me for the old audio from this clip. I thought it would be good to show the original audio, if nothing else, to show how excited I was when I first got it working. Alright, big moment. First full test of the entire system. Let's see if it works. Fingers crossed, very, very hard. The main addition in this version is the implementation of several lifting mechanisms that will pull the sheet of blocks up to a blast chamber. The blast chamber has its own devices in place to manage the blocks and push them into the blast chamber, but those are simple enough. You may also notice that in this version, the left to right flying machine will trigger the vertical flying machines automatically. At this point, it is worth noting 
that the lifting mechanisms will go harmlessly past the redstone blocks that they are currently passing on the way up, but not on the way down. When the lifters reach the top, they trigger a set of events, the first of which is a machine that clears the blocks off of the lifters. The next is the machine that gives the perfectly timed pulses to send the lifters back down. They must be an exact number of ticks apart. I've honestly forgotten how many that is, but I can probably figure it out. The next set of events that happen is one machine flies across and pushes all of the blocks up to the point where they can make it into the blast chamber, and a second machine flies across that pushes them into the blast chamber. These machines then return to their docks for the next round. Pardon the static, we're switching back to the original sound. And now it's completely back to where it started. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it works. Whew. I just have no idea how long that took. <sighs> that that is awesome. Okay. So <laughs> the last thing that I might want to do to this, I'm not going to right now because oh my gosh, that that was a big triumph. Um is make it so when the little things over my right shoulder here come back to their docks, they send off the machine again because when those come back to their docks, that means it's fully reset. Thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day.